Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the UDK tutorials and we are sitting here now after looking over all the content browser basics and how to navigate stuff. I probably missed a couple things so just ask questions if uh, something doesn't make sense I'll be happy to answer them. So we're gonna go through right now all the different types of assets that we can create and or manipulate and we do this by if you want to create stuff the fast way is you can either go down here to specify the package or to create the new asset or you can just right click in the content browser and it gives you a list of everything plus the import too look at that you don't even need these buttons dumb buttons so what we can do now is we're gonna go through and I'm gonna look at all the necessary things you're gonna use a lot of them they just added recently like AI tree and uh, let's see fracture material I think they just added that um proc building rule set you don't need that speech recognition whoa they just added that too I've never seen that 2d texture array uh, that's pretty much it UDK map music info that's pretty interesting now yeah, worry about that later so pretty much the main ones I'm just gonna be going over right now is I'm just gonna create them one by one and then we'll go through them let me just delete these two quick what you can do if, if another way to select stuff if you just click on it and you want to click on another one it's just like we did in the map just hold down control and you can select more than one and if you want to select from a line what you can do is click one and go up top as you can see it'll collect, select all these and hit shift hold down shift and click and it'll select everything in between so that's pretty much a quick overview of that. I forgot to mention that. So what we'll do is we'll delete these two, these two uh, little assets here we don't really need. And as you can see, it deleted my package. So I'm gonna make a new one, and we'll call it test assets. Oh yeah, no spaces. I forgot to say that you can't use spaces in any of these. If you have to, use an underscore if you really need a space there. And We'll start off by making an anim set, and let's call it one to be simple. So that opened up the anim set. I'll check with that in a second. So we have the test assets thing, and one will create an anim set, which I just made right there. And next, next thing we'll probably use is lens flare two. Opens up. Each one of these are going to just open up the regular editor right away without me even asking it to. So I'm just going to close out of those for now. New material. The material editor is very important. Important. Do three there. And let's see here. What else? Font, lens flare, material, material instant constant. That's going to be used. So it's four. And. It's a constant, never seen that before. Particle system, that's very important too. So that's five. There's the particle editor. It's called Cascade. Physical material, never really used that. Physics particle system is kind of, it's pretty much the same. I'll explain that later when we go into particle systems. It's pretty much the same exact thing as particle systems, of course. So sound, we don't really need sound too much, but I'll show you. It's pretty similar to Kismet, so I'll go over that. And we'll do the sound cue. And that's six, I think. See, so yeah, there's the sound cue editor. <coughs> and let's see, I think that's about it. Everything else is going to be texture cube. I guess we could go over that too. There's seven. So there's right there. I guess I didn't make a physics asset either. Where's that at? Physic what? They don't even have it in here anymore. That's weird. Physical Yeah, they don't even have the physics asset. That is dumb. Oh yeah, I forgot how you made that. Duh. Whenever you make a I'll I'll explain that later. But what you, all you have to do is create a new physics asset, face effects. These two. Face effects and physics assets, you create them using the using the right click on the skeletal mesh you want to use so I'm just going to create a physics asset quick just so I can show you guys the editor and we'll put it in our 
test assets if I can find it. Uh, test, test. Nope, it's not there. That's not good. Probably because I haven't saved it yet. Duh. So I'm just going to save this quick and we can show it where we want it to save. I'll just save it right here. Give it a second to save and there we go. It's in the in the content browser side window. So we're going to create a physics asset and we can actually search test assets. Or not search but just put it in there. Okay and it gives us a couple options here. Don't worry about that now because uh, I just want to show you guys the editor. So first of all, we'll go over the anim set editor. It's pretty straightforward. This is for dealing with all animations. And let's see if I can find. Okay, there's somebody. And what this does is it actually deals with not only animations and stuff, but it deals with uh, soft body and cloth, bones, just a whole bunch of stuff. And sockets are really important. You don't really need to use any of that, but the sockets is very important. I'll teach you guys about that later. But this is basically where you set up animations and import them and set up materials for the different skeletal meshes. It's very important. And anim sequences. There's uh, what call they're called anim notifications. For different for different things that it's I'll explain it later it's just a whole bunch of stuff so that's one of the editors it's called it's called the anim set editor it's, it has a, just a whole bunch of stuff inside of it that I'll explain later next we have the lens flare editor that I have yet to find any kind of explanation on how to use this but I actually figured it out so I'll be able to go over that later but it's pretty much the same as the particle editor in look and stuff a lot of these are very similar, but some of them are different. So this is this is the material editor. This is really important when you're setting up assets, and it's it's a lot to look at right now. But once we get into it, I'll show I'll just show you how to use it, and all the different things you can do. It actually is very similar style to Kismet, so this looks a lot similar. It goes by nodes, so if you put some random thing in there, you know this is how you connect nodes and stuff, and so yeah that's very similar to kismet that's the material editor and then we have the material const instant constant material editor which is what sets up real time uh, real time vector parameters and different things you can change real time in game on a material that you can't change in the material editor so it's it's pretty complicated I'll, I'll explain it all later of course but it's that's just what it's like. It's just like the static. Me it's similar to the static mesh editor, but with a couple extra values and stuff you can mess with. Particle editor, the cascade. This is probably one of the funnest things to work in. It's an absolute blast, and as you can see, it's kind of similar to the lens flare setup, but it's a lot different in many ways. So I will definitely be going over that later. And next we have the sound cue editor. Sound cue. Oh crap. Okay, so yeah, whenever you use the sound cue, you can't just double click on it because it'll just play. So you gotta use edit using the sound cue. I forgot about that. So this is similar to Kismet too in that it uses nodes to connect. It's just like the regular material editor. I'll go over this too, and it's very self-explanatory. But you know, it, it's kind of like an audio editor, but using nodes and stuff to connect and run different values through. So that's the audio, the sound cue editor. Texture cubes are for rendering out reflections, non-real-time reflections. I'll actually talk about real-time reflections, but it's just usually wise to use non-real-time reflections. And it's it's just a very simple editor. Just plug in, you know, the values and it's good to go. And then we have the physics asset editor, which I don't technically know very well but I've learned a little bit about it recently so I can go over that and just the different things you can do in it so you guys can mess around too so that's basically all the things you need to use are just these right here and anything else that I use just randomly out of the blue I'll definitely explain before I use it but these right here these eight things are the things that you're gonna be using most and they all have their different editors plugged into them so you have these eight and then you have kismet and, and matinee that you're gonna be working with so you got a lot of programs to learn don't worry we'll be learning them so I'm gonna wrap this video up and finally I think in the next episode we will be starting building our set
finally. And after that, I'll just go through and cover everything I didn't cover as far as just little tiny things that I don't think I saw in the 3D Buzz tutorials that I can cover. And just, just little things that will just make your, make your sets just more intense and all that cool stuff. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next video.